All right, we are live. I thought I just saw a bug on my fucking microphone. It's about to lose my shit, but it's just a hair. It's just a piece of hair. Okay, we are back with more Danganronpa V3, where we last left off. Tragedy has befallen us. Sadly, our ever-loving, wonderful, carefree beauty queen from the galaxy beyond, Miui Ruma, has been stricken down in the most heinous ways possible. And we need to get to the bottom of this. That's a problem. We can't have this problem out there. It's bad. <sighs> it's been a while since we streamed. All right. <clears throat> I gotta like clear my throat, get ready. I'm gonna be reading a lot. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't read a lot this, this stream because we're going into the trial. That's what we're doing. Huh. All right. Well, <clears throat> time to head back into the depressing, sad world of Dangaramba. There she is, right next to the PlayStation VR. Mew's hands are clasped around her neck, as if she was gasping for air. Poor Mew. She's dead now. Her eyes are wide open in panic. She must have suffered quite a bit. The person who found Mew's body was Kibo, the first to log out. He said that she still had the helmet on her head at that time. Hmm. Still. What caused her to suffer like this? What was the cause of death? Alright. Let's look over to evidence before we go into this trial because I want to know what the fuck is going on. All right, Monokuma file. The victim is ultimate inventor Mui Ruma. The victim's body was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor of the school. The estimated time of death is 6.30 a.m. No injury. That's really early. <laughs> no injuries can be found on the victim's body. And supposedly, uh, supposedly Kaito got forcibly logged out via the cell phone that Mew was carrying on her body. And then since he got logged out, he kind of just went for a nap. Mew's body, the visors, it's a known what would happen if the colors were plugged into the wrong slots. The Killing Game Simulator text file contained the following information. Objects can't break, avatars cannot be injured. However, the body's five senses are connected to the avatar. And any damage an avatar takes is felt by the user's real body. If an avatar takes fatal damage, the real body will also die from shock. Huh. This is gonna be a... Might be a tricky one. I'm not sure. Fucking Samugi. It's all coming back to me, right? It's been like a week. It's all coming back to me. Samugi's dumbass. Fucking... Hey man, I thought I saw someone outside. Let me tell you about it ten minutes later. What? <laughs> Who does that? Oh, God. Kaito, he fucked off for a while. It's the map. It's a loading barrier between the two places that Mew put in herself, I think. Either that or she put the borders in by herself. It's a random piece of toilet paper. A hammer was found on her body. She was supposed to meet up with Kokichi. And Kokichi also has a setting on his avatar. Which, if Mew touched him, he would be unable to move. Okay. Alright. So. Who the fuck is even alive anymore? We have Kaito. Right? I I highly doubt Kaito did it. Alright. Gonta. I doubt Gonta did it. Kokichi. He has some sort of plan in the works. So I doubt that he's the culprit. Kibo's on my list. He seems innocent. But, he's a suspect. He was the first one to see the body. Apparently. Himiko, I hate to say it, she's on my list too. Mainly because, you know, she's a little bit more outgoing now than what she used to be. 
like you could definitely see her whole attitude change and it could be because angie and tenko pass but you know maybe that's the reason why she takes opportunity now saw opportunity to kill she took it no survivors maki i want to say she's innocent but now that i think about it i did think about it thought about it a little bit to myself and i was like wait a minute Let's say Kaito was the true, was the true target here. What if Maki somehow protected him? I don't know. Don't want to call her a suspect yet, but so far, I think Maki's innocent. We have Samugi. Samugi was, you know, in the other room next to me. She could have left, because she disappeared for fucking 10 minutes. Well, I say disappeared, but she didn't alert us within the 10 minutes, you know. She's on the chopping block, too. Oh, goodbye, Mew. My precious Mew. So rare. One of a kind. Trade you between Pokemon games. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> it's time for us to head out. Goodbye, Mew. You will be missed. So now we gotta head towards the trial grounds. I'm trying to think of trying to think of any possible theories right now as to how uh, how she could have died, you know? Or maybe or maybe someone killed her in self-defense. I wouldn't put it beyond Mew, right? I wanna I wanna say Mew's 100% innocent in this, but I wouldn't put it beyond her, you know? To take initiative. I can imagine her, I can imagine her having a plan to strike first, but then somebody outmaneuvered her, and now she's dead. Now she's dead. There's nothing we can do about it, besides be sad and mourn her passing. It's terrible. It's a terrible day for everyone involved. But we will get down to the bottom of this mystery. All right, here we are. The door to destiny. Shrine of judgment. But before we go, let's look back, give our final farewells to Mew. Goodbye. You will be missed. You will be missed. Mostly by me. God damn it. Uh, um... Jesus. Looks like that's everyone. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Everyone's dropping like flies. Oh, miss everyone, huh? There's a lot less of us now. It's plain to see. This is just half of what we started with. Unfortunately. Because we allowed this game to continue, we must stop it somehow. Right? But we can't stop now. We can't let the fun in. Don't. Cut it out. I'm certain this trial will be the last one. Hey. Let's focus on surviving this class trial first. Maki, I will cry if you die next. I will break down into tears. I guess. You're right. If we mess up here, our numbers will go down even quicker. It'd just be the culprit left. But... That might be okay. Maybe that's just another way to stop the killing game. If we all died, then the killing game would end. What? Don't say stupid crap like that. It's pointless if we die. Okay. Well, we don't have to worry. We've got the ultimate detective on our side. I feel like there's a trap. I feel like someone's setting up a trap for me. Someone has it out for me. Too many people are relying on me. You're right. Yeah, it's time for the detective to shine, Shuichi. Please keep us. The, please keep up the good work. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do my best. You guys can't keep relying on me like this. Someone's planning something. This is some heinous shit going on. 
Yes. I have to keep it together. This is the only time my talent can shine. I'm not just saving my life. Everyone's life is on the line. If I can't find the truth here, everyone will be sacrificed. And I will never let that happen. Come on, man. Hey, Suichi. You're getting all tense. Huh? What? I mean... Didn't I tell you before? Suichi, don't carry the burden all... Get it? And didn't I tell you before not to get in the way, Kaito? What are you planning, Kokichi? What is your... What is your endgame here? What are you doing? Huh? Huh? What's your problem? You really don't get it. We're all relying on Suichi to carry our asses through this class trial, okay? That's a lie. That's such a lie. You got something planned. You're like a parrot repeating the same lines over and over. You're bothering him. Well, you know... I think that's the most annoying thing <laughs> that you can do to Suichi. You know that? Huh? What do you mean? I'm not... Kokichi, you're annoying. Please don't. Whoa. Killer girl's glaring at me. I was only kidding around. Maki's glare seemed to do the trick as Kokichi turned around, dejected. Jeez. Dejected. Ejected. Disrespected. <laughs> Finally, that pest is gone. Thanks, Maki Roll. <sighs> Just suck it up, Kaito. Now's not the time to be bickering with each other. Got it. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Um. Kaito, I'm okay. Hmm? hmm. Well. I know what you said. To I know. I know what you wanted to say, Kaito. You don't have to worry. I believe in you. I see. In that case, I believe in you. I won't say anything else. Shuichi. But if you ever, if you have any problems, let me know. I'll help you. I'm here for you, bro. Thank you. The more I see this, like, friendship shit going on, the more I'm like, Oh no, Kaito and Maki. Oh no, one of them might die. They're still not on my suspects list, but... God. Maki, you better not. Maki, look at me. Look at me, Maki. Maki. You, you didn't forget, right? Remember who you are. Make sure you never forget that. Maki? What are you doing? Maki? Maki? Maki's scaring me, man. Terrifying me. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah. The eight of us got into the elevator. The eight of us. Oh my god! And it's gonna be seven by the end. The door shut behind us. And like all those times before, we descended. It was dead quiet. The only sound I could hear was the beating of my heart and my ears. My body was trembling. The more I tried to control it, the worse it got. There's no way to get used to it, really. The fear of death. We were all fighting it trying to be courageous. We all felt as though we were going to, into our own execution. No, not an execution. A test of our will to survive. Finally, the elevator stopped and the doors opened. And though I couldn't explain it, my body stopped trembling. My fucking headset is like cutting in and out. What the hell is going on here? Welcome. Go ahead and stand behind any open podium. <laughs> what the fuck? You beat up Monotaro? 
Move your asses. You don't want to see what you'll do if you keep father waiting. Huh? Wait, is he back to normal? Why? Huh? You're not friend anymore? <laughs> Jerks must feel pretty slick, using Monotaro's forgetfulness to befriend him. Nah. I am slick. <laughs> he just decided on his own that we were friends. You bastards! But I won't let you guys trick Monotaro anymore, because he's already forgotten. He may have forgotten that he was on daddy's side. But now, he's forgotten that he had forgotten that he was on... Wait, what? <laughs> Am I having a stroke? Thanks to me, because I smacked the stuffing out of him. How confusing. Well, whatever. Really? I can't remember. But one of you guys is the culprit, right? I can't be in the same room as a killer. It's dangerous. I'm gonna go lock myself in my room. Maybe even set up a barricade. That's another death flag. Anyway. Let's get started. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. We went to our podiums, as always. We knew that we had to do we knew what we had to do. But there was no protest left in us. It's already the fourth time. The fourth class trial was about to begin. Mui Ruma, the ultimate inventor. She may have given us a lot of trouble, but we all miss her. It's a tragedy, after all. She helped me and Kaede with those cameras, gave Kibo extra functions. In the end, she had done a lot for us. And the culprit that killed her is one of us. I need to discover who that is. In order to survive, I have to find the culprit. And I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. Do you want to save? Sure, why not? We can do that. And, uh... Keep everything nice and hunky dory. And wonderful. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get ready for this shit. Um, I just want to check my audio real quick. It seems like it's pretty on the low side. What if I just put it up by by one? Don't wanna to do too much now. There we go. Maybe that will change the audio. Maybe it's already good. Hopefully it's not too loud. If it's too loud, please tell me. Alright. Skills. How many, um... Ooh. We don't really have... We don't really have a lot of... Uh, skill points to use here. Okay. Damn. They really don't give you that many skill points in this game. They want you to replay the shit out of this. Compared to all the other ones. Hmm. Silence all conversations. Set those with the reticle is on. Instantly silence loud voices. Effectively during mass panic. Keyword in first speaker's argument will be shown from the start. Uh, just a peek. The entire screen will light up more frequently. During Hangman's Gambit. Power of life and death. Makes it easier to push the opponent back during blade lock. Um, high tension. Tension gauge will increase, fast rate, effective during an argument, argument. Armament? Not argument. Argument, armament. I guess I can use this, right? Like, I can equip a lot of skills, but I can't use them. I can't buy them. Because I gotta hang out with my teammates. Do I have one that I own that I haven't equipped? Nope. Alright. Well. 
Guess that's it for setting up our stuff. Our handbook just has our stuff. Our yeah, we're on mean, so. All right, <clears throat> now, before we start our class trial, I wanna say a final farewell to Mew. I have prepared a gif that will hopefully appease her spirit. So let's all just have a moment of silence as I pour my heart out from you. I don't mind spending every day Out on your corner in the pouring rain Look for the girl with the broken smile Asked her if she wants to stay a while And she will be loved 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 I know where you hide along in your car Know all of the things that make you who you are I know that goodbye means nothing at all Comes back and begs me to catch her every time she falls Tap on my window, knock on my door I wanna make you feel beautiful I don't mind spending every day Out on your corner in the pouring rain Look for the girl with the broken smile Asked her if she wants to stay a while And she will be loved And she will be loved And she will be loved And she will be And with that, it's our final farewell to Mew. Rest in peace, sweet dreams, my baby. I will always love you, and I'll wait for you in the afterlife. Now let us begin the class trial. All right, which one of you motherfuckers did it? Let's begin with a basic explanation. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. You need more motivation! I do. I really, really do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. Oh, go fuck yourself, Kokichi. What happens if the votes result in two first places? What? Huh? You mean like a tie? We can't do a tie. We have to all it has to be a unanimous vote. It means they're both the blackened. As long as one of them is correct. It's fine. What? Daddy, are you sure you should make a decision like that so casually? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. What? So we're just throwing the rules out? Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. What game? How long are you going to keep saying that? Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. Got it? We can't die here! Oh my! Himiko has become so determined! It's true! People really do change! 
but now she's lost what made her so unique. Now I'm like Himiko, before and now. That's none of your business! We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify... Kaito's the culprit! What? What? Say that to my face! While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? Don't screw around! There's no way I'm the culprit! Kaito right! Kaito couldn't have killed Mew! How long are you gonna keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know? We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. Go fuck yourself, Kakuchi. The fact that Kaito was the only one locked out is suspicious. But he's not the culprit. He can't be. He was logged out manually with the cell phone. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in though. Would that be under Kaito's account? See, while he was looking on the rooftop, blah blah. It's only logged out. Logged out back or not, he went to sleep in his room. Why don't we just use the cell phone, didn't we? Isn't that in the evidence? Yeah. Cell phone. That's when he poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? What do you mean, last words? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> First, we need to decide if Mew was killed in a real world or virtual world. That's, pro that's where the problem Kaito lies. Logged out first by so what, uh, her corpse? Really? That's what we're going with? <laughs> that's the angle we're going with at the beginning? It's like, well, we gotta determine this. It's like, just, and she was locked, he was locked out with the cell phone. Her eyes open expression. She must have been killed in the real world, right? They said they took the helmet off of her. That's the first log out. Well, she also wasn't logged out, so... I don't know. Huh. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of... What does the file say? Victim bodies were discovered in a computer room on the fourth floor, estimated time of death. No injuries can be found on the victim's body. Poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? I guess I'll go with the Monokuma file, words? right? I guess I'll go with the Monokuma file. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when he poisoned her. Why does that change at the last second? That's so weird. So I label poison on the bottle, right? Suichi, even the smallest amount can kill. Hmm. I call bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit. Kaito logged out first by himself. All right. Neutralize and mix into anything, but it's still quite dangerous, even in small amounts. Okay. That's such a weird angle to begin with. Instead of just going like, "Oh no, he was forcibly logged out." Why well, you got to start with that line of questioning? Jesus. That's when you poisoned him, right, Kaito? Impossible. All right, so that still doesn't work on that one. This oh is a no. tricky way to start this out. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? 
Kaito culprit? Impossible. Let me see his account again. Uh, was only one logged out of the virtual world while he was looking for the secrets of the outside world. Ring of light appeared around his feet and was suddenly logged out against his will. Not knowing. Okay. So we can use we can use his word, but we won't use the cell phone. That's kind of weird. Of course it's Don't you think? Because I didn't do it. I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. I guess that I'll use Kaito's account plan, then. Right, Kaito? Last Maybe last words. Let's see. Kaito logged out first by himself. By himself. You was still logged in though. Okay. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible. Oh. Okay. Yeah, her eyes didn't seem bloodshot, did they? Let's see, she died with her eyes open and expression of agonies on her face. But her eyes wasn't bloodshot, I don't think so, so I guess... I guess you can use the poison bottle. I guess I'll use small bottle of poison on... on poisoned her, right? Because if she was poisoned, her eyes would be bloodshot. You were still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her. There we go. That's wrong. Mew wasn't killed by poison, and the warning on the label proves it. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. That's a big word. Subconjunctable. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body. That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. Then what was that poison for? You just being a jackass, Kokichi? Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Then, what was her real cause of death? Mew's real cause of death? The only way I can think of it. Uh, avatars cannot be injured, blah blah, killing game simulator. This is it! There you go. Mew's cause of death was the killing game simulator itself. In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. Miu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. I find it so weird that that's how that works. Because if Danganronpa 2 goes by anything, she wouldn't die from shock. She would just go into a coma, right? That's how it worked in Danganronpa 2, unless Monokuma made some adjustments. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gonta has question. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? If you don't understand, then don't say anything. Oh shit. Yomaki, you okay? If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. So her cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Uh, um. Sorry, Gonta. Uh, it seems like Gonta is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? Um. So we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, and... Yeah, all the help Samugi was. That NPC Kaito. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? <laughs> and the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and... Oh my god, my fucking headset is like bugging out. I don't know why it's doing this. I might need to like unplug it. 
How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Alright, my fucking headset is losing its mind. Let me just... I'll turn, uh, I'll turn up the volume on my monitor a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't feed back. No, I don't care about your update, computer. Fuck out of here. Aww, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. Oh, come on, now you're bullying her. That was uncalled for! Someday, my chest will grow like crazy! Let's begin, then. The fatal damage that Mew received in the virtual world. Let's pin that down. Alright. Let's see what we can get. Um, use corpse, signboard, use bridge. World, Mew was fatally injured. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to Mew was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! I don't think so. We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Oh, that's fucked up. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think it never hit a lady. I agree with that one. I agree. Of course, the assassin would know. I agree with her. Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yeah, she looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right. And the virtual world is connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. Mew was strangled to death. Yeah, definitely. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she's suffocated. But we already removed the possibility of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Oh, the Assassin Master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. Fuck off, Kokuchi. <laughs> okay, all right, Mew, calm down. In that case, I mean, I just called her Mew, didn't I? Fuck. In the <laughs> so sorry. World. My bad, Maki. I'm just, you know what? I'm in, I'm in mourning. Give me a break. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Hmm. What if they used an item? Right. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. <laughs> I don't know why that last bit gets me laughing. He's like, nerd? What kind of high school bully shit is this? Was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. It wasn't a rope, but there was a cloth. Then they must have used something else as a rope. Could they use the toilet paper? Is the objects breakable? <laughs> objects are not breakable, right? Wait a minute. Objects aren't breakable. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. See, objects can't break. So theoretically... You can take the roll of toilet paper, pull it out, and just fucking strangle her with it. <laughs> what the hell? Thanks, Blade. Thank you for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. All right, let's go with that toilet toilet paper theory. I found it during the investigation. Now where the fuck is it? There we go. This is it! During the investigation, we found toilet paper outside the mansion. Oh, man. 
it sucks that Mew's dead, but it also double sucks now that it's all like, I killed her with toilet paper. Like, oh, come on. Is this toilet paper? What toilet paper be doing out here? I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Gonta, no can ignore that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Gonta. But it's true. What you mean, Shuichi? Huh? What's, What's wrong? wrong? What's wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. Gonta, I love you, man. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. It's no time for nonsense. No can use toilet paper. In place of rope. Oh fuck. What tear too easy. There you go. I'll cut through your words. The toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in a virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Just like diamond. Breakable? <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. I wonder if you had unbreakable toilet paper, would that be helpful in the real world or not helpful? You know, you know what? Wouldn't it be like a pain? In, if it was unbreakable, it wouldn't break down when you, if you were to flush it, right? And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Going to not really understand, but. Sorry, Shuichi. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. I still love you. It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. Killed by toilet paper. It was a fitting end for her. Oh, come on, Himiko. A fitting end? I do not fully understand that logic. <laughs> she wasn't... She wasn't that bad. But if Mew was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? Because they probably, I don't know, shit. Maybe it's just, maybe it's one of the people who came and investigated with us? Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. If the culprit meant to get rid of the evidence, they did a poor job of it. There was a much better place where they could get it destroyed. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? Wait, we already know who brought the hammer. It was Mew herself. That's it! Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Mew bring hammer? Everyone stop! It's hammer time. Remember what she told us? I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that would be used as weapons. Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? But why she do that? So that if somebody gets crazy with her, she can just go bam bam. Just beat their ass with a hammer. Me brought the hammer for sure. But what does she need it for? She has th <laughs> What the fuck? They gave her three X's on her death sign. That's fucked up. I know she was raunchy, but come on. Gave her three X's. Come on, man. Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. But go to know Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. <laughs> Mew's gonna build Probably it. Probably just brought it <laughs> out here being fix it, Felix. Huh. Added wall. You added a wall along with length of the y-axis. All the special settings to allow non-human objects to pass through it. Yeah, but she made herself a non-human object. 
so she wouldn't need a hammer to break through the wall, right? Hmm. Let's see. Let's meet up with me on the rooftop. For self defense. Or she secretly met up with someone and tried to kill them with it. I don't. You idiot! She was the victim. Why did I hit that one? Why did I hit the silence on that one? Let's assume that Mew brought the hand. All right, let's try agreeing with Kokichi. What was she planning to do with it? Like I said earlier, she could Maybe possibly be planning to kill him. Uses for a hammer. Going to know Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. She probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with him. Move out of my way. I agree. Oh, she was so gonna murder you, Kokichi. If Kokichi ever got crazy, paralyze him, and then bam, bam, beat his ass with a hammer. Gonna meet up with someone in the virtual world. Mm-hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. She's still innocent. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. Out here being like, bam bam. Kokichi already figured it out. She was planning to. Plan a murder, confess her love. I don't think she was gonna kill him. I really think it's for self-defense. Well, I want to believe it's for self-defense, but who's kidding? She was definitely gonna murder That's that it. motherfucker. He was definitely gone. <laughs> he was definitely she was gone. Trying to kill Kokichi. She's been acting weird ever ever since she like got her memory back. So she probably remembered something fucked up and said, "I gotta get out of here." She was what? Yep. She plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Mew's plan, huh? I'm sure if I analyze the clues we found, I can figure something out. Alright, let's do it. Hangman's Gambit? Psychic Taxi. Ooh. All right. I wish there was more letters on the road. Let's see, who tried to kill Kokichi? Well, that's a dumb question. We just went over it. Just keep it down the middle road. It was Mew. Well, bam. Get in the car, bitch. We're going to Disney World. got them all. Where was Mew trying to kill Kokichi? On the rooftop. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Dun, ba, da, 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 da. Virtual world. Bam! They should definitely put more letters on the road. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Why was the bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? I don't fucking know. Was she gonna... Was she gonna say he committed suicide?
divert attention. But bam! She was gonna kill Kokichi and say he poisoned himself? Oh, come on, Mew, you're way smarter than that. There's no fucking way. There's no way that that could have been her plan. She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. She did that too? What? Mew was the one who put that poison bottle there? No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. If she logged out, there would have been... Let me see the evidence again, please. Where's the log out? Shit, log in. Uh, log in, log out, records. Let's see. Kokichi Gonza Mew logged in after Kokichi. It took her two minutes to do so. Despite the fact that she's the one who knew most about the virtual world. And she was the last one to log in too. Fuck. So he definitely logged in as she walked over, put it there, and then went in herself. Come on, Mew. You gotta have a good when reason for this. Put the poison there? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. Nah, that's not true. And then what? She logged back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. Yeah, that was where I would then use the statement. Put poison bottle. The only person who logged out early was Kaito. Aw, oh, come on, Kaito, leave him be. Kaito, your grave just got ten feet deeper! No, it wasn't me, guys! If the poison was placed, blah blah... Alright. Mew, I put the poison there! If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. And then what? Run past me? Kokichi, what's your name for my manager? Did you see her log in Wait, what the fuck? Her? Nope, I didn't see that at all. I'm looking at a uh, Kyo's portrait. In or out. It's just like covered in mud. The there we go. That's wrong. She was the last one to log in. I'm gonna take a drink of water now because I need it. It was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. She had plenty of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Yeah, what about it? If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right! She could have placed Poison Bottle on Kokiji's seat! Sometimes I hate it when I think ahead of the game a little bit. <laughs> you know, early I'm just sitting there. I'm like, she could have planned to kill someone, but it backfired. This was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. True, that would make sense why she would log him out. And she did tell you guys to both go to the mansion. Huh. I don't want to believe that Mew was this malicious, but at the same time... At the same time, she must have had... If she were to plan something like this, it must have been a couple of extra steps. She's pretty smart. Well, that's not my fault. Which is why she manually logged you out. Just for that purpose. So she did that to me? Yes, I'm positive of that. Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. How did Mew log out Kaito? What the cell phone? Cellular devices. There we go. This is it! It was the cell phone found by Mew's avatar. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. 
Kaito Momoda. He locked out, just as I thought. I see. With that cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. But Mew never mentioned a cell phone, right? That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose, so she could use it for the murder. So, she really was planning a murder. Kaito's like, somebody logged me out. An error must have occurred. An error occurred. A murder occurred. And she tried to set me up. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. The people you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Well, I think your ideals should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm? Do I? I don't know about that. What the fuck's your deal, Monokuma? I think Monokuma's kind of pissed because because uh, Kokichi's probably the mastermind. Not the mastermind, but you know, like, the one pulling the strings behind this whole entire incident right here. Incident? Event? Whatever you want to call it. Huh? Wait, what were we talking about? I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Oh. Thanks for the follow. Uh... <laughs> what? Pepsis... What the fuck? <laughs> What is that name? Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate it. All that remains of a once powerful yeah! If father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced yeah. onto mommy. Here on the threshold huh? of an amazing adventure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My head! I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't. What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! Anywho. It's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. Mm, I'm not sure about that one, Chief. I'd rather you die, Kokichi. What you mean? Because she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. True, but... True, but I still like Mew more than you. <laughs> you guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. So that's why she decided to attempt a murder. Because she had total control. And the reason Mew was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... <laughs> you guys are only bitching because you haven't been to the virtual world yet. But once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys love it. And then, you're gonna fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. So, let's just drive- let's just dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. She was insistent we go there so she could kill us! What a shady person. There must have been a reason. There must have been some- I'm trying to think. I don't think Mew is this malicious. There must have been some sort of reason. For her to do that, right? I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. <laughs> nice! Backstabbed by a trusted friend. See? That's an ideal fun situation! Now we can start a real class trial! Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Hmm? Huh? Really? I don't sound anything like him. No, you're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Aren't you going to do something? <laughs> well, Monofi is just like, he's calling you out. <laughs> he's calling you out. Gonna let him get away with that? Yeah, yeah. I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? It's not that easy, Monokuma. Ooh, 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 ooh. There, I did it. 
He's completely lost his drive. Like a one-hit wonder who clings to their former fame. <laughs> my head! Listen up, Kokichi. To hell with this game of suspicion crap. I will never be okay with it. I'm just gonna believe in everyone. Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them. Well, if you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. But it's a virtual world. Can you pick a virtual lock? Unless there's lock picking mechanics in the virtual world. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. True. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. What? If you never went to the roof, how did you know the door was locked? I remember... You and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Exactly, so why the fuck would you say that? Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? I already told you! How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't wanna die either, you know? I call bullshit. Kokichi's got a suicide plot. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Oh, mm hmm I see. I didn't realize that. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. Such a jackass, Kokichi. So, what is this strange circumstance? Maybe the fact that Samugi saw Mew and didn't say shit for 10 minutes? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. I mean, it's easy. She packed man herself across. She just went to the other side. Whoops, my hand slipped. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. <laughs> it's true. First, we need to determine if Mew was actually there or not. Did she go? Was she never on the roof at all? Someone could have dragged her body, right? Because in the virtual world, you don't leave prints in the snow. Mew was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. Look at where her avatar fell. It's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Kokichi... She stood me up! <laughs> she stood me up? Alright, let me just... Hold up. Mew is waiting for me to arrive. 
I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No. Mio should have been at the top. Can I use this for that? Oh, I could. Okay. <laughs> well, that was easy. Mio must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah. When I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. For some reason, my headset keeps fucking, like, killing itself here. Uh, then why didn't you say so sooner? Sorry. I thought I was just mistaken at first. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely Mew. Then... How did she get to the mansion from the chapel? It must have been some special method only you knew, like with that cell phone. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So... What secret method did she use? Tell me, man. She Pac-Maned herself. Out. It's called a secret method for a reason. She fucking went to the other side and just went wonka 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 to the other side. No worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A-OK. -okay. Stop saying that. What? What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. This class trial's for all of us. We're here to solve this together. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up! I don't have time to deal with Kokichi right now. I need to focus on the case. I'm positive that Mew used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay. I just have to figure out what it was. It only you knew about. Like a hidden bridge besides that signboard maybe. Or instead of bridge, you use some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported with magic. Teleport it. Or we can use that. Warp zone. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get. Or a hidden route. I suppose it is possible she used that to change places. Man, you guys are way off! Or maybe I'm just pulling your legs! Okay. Way across the room. I'm gonna use it on, uh... On Kibo's statement. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only Mew could use to get across. There we go. I agree! Good job, Kibo. That's it, Kibo. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. Hmm? Was there really? Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. Don't be naive, Shuichi! Oh, come on, Kaito. Hmm? Huh? What is it, Kaito? Jeez, Mew set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious, but it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. Nothing to do with it? Huh. You don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. Oh come on, Kaito, don't make me embarrass you. Last thing I want to do, man. Let's see, Mew's avatar. What we gotta figure out. Oh. Is how oh. Mew got from the chapel to the mansion. So why waste time talking about the? Imp it's pointless. We gotta take a whole new approach here. Blade struggle? Get the fuck out of here. 
Now wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. So <laughs> Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object after all. There you go. Your words. Come on, Kaito. Come on, get with the program. The wall wasn't the only thing that Mew changed. She also changed her avatar settings from human to object. From human to object? Which means the virtual world treated her avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. Stop putting it on my back, Koichi. I already told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining. <laughs> I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Oh, thanks, Kaito. Okay. You're a true pal. <laughs> It's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi, please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. Damn, put him in a spot, Kibo. So, if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only Kibo she Kibo just walked over to him and said, if I may, sit your ass down, sir. Then her secret route was through that wall? That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. But even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world, literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. She probably lied. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. You lied. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. That cum-soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. What the fuck, Kokichi? She lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Kokichi, you no have to go that far. Stop it! Listen to you talking about mommy, but she was a terrible lying whore. <laughs> you ain't gotta say it out like that, Monotaro. But mommy wasn't lying. There was no hidden route in that virtual world. Wait, what? Uh, oh, there wasn't, huh? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh! If you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. Oh, shit! Ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. Was Kokichi saying all that stuff about Mew to get the cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. So now that we know there's no hidden root, why did she manipulate the program? So she wasn't planning to kill Kokichi. We're throwing out that, we're throwing that thing out entirely. Thanks for the follow. I, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm gonna try though. Arya P, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for the follow though. Can I just call you Arya? <laughs> Would that be better? <laughs> just Arya is fine? Okay, Thank you. <laughs> If there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. And you wouldn't have done something meaningless. She would have had a plan. So we're going with the... Are we going with the idea that Mew didn't plan the kill? Was I... Was my gut feeling right? Can I trust her again? Yes. Can she be trusted? Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. We aren't sure why yet. But once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... Mystery of 
virtual world? There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. I feel like Gunter knows something important, but since he's so confused, he can't really say it. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. All right, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah, Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. I'm still worried about why you didn't alert us <laughs> immediately, Samugi. Wait at 10 minutes. I'll always hold that over her head. Remember? That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? Oh, the giant- the fucking noise? That is pretty weird. I don't think noises are supposed to travel through uh, the, the loading zone, right? Speaking of loud noises, somebody definitely just dropped something in my house. This is it! It might be the you might be the, the wet loud bandits. Sound that you and I heard in the kitchen. What? What was that sound? It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but. Hmm? You all heard that sound too? Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? Unless sounds can go through the wall that Mew set up, would that be considered a loading wall? First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. Did that sound really come from the chapel? That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. For now, let's go outside and check. Okay. Considering the way that Suichi and Samugi are facing, I think it's safe to say that sound can travel through the wall that Mew added. Because... Because if... If the sound came from outside the chapel, they would be facing the, um... The right side of the chapel, which would be our left in the mansion. That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. You heard my voice too? What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. And if I remember correctly, I think Okichi said he didn't hear a sound. So if he was like further towards the loading point with Gonta, they probably wouldn't be able to hear it because the chapel and the mansion will be closer than what they actually appear to be. Okay, well, let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Kokichi talked like he noticed something. Pretending not to know? <laughs> Telling lies. Even Gonta is suspicious of me? <gasps> I always thought you would be the one to trust me! I love how Gonta just worded it. He's all like, pretending not to know? Are you telling lies? Sorry, Gonta not mean it like that. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? He's probably talking about the signboard. Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible. Like me in the mansion, as in the loud noise. I need to remember everything else that happened there. Mind mine. Alright. I'm not a fan of this one. Uh. Let's see. I believe I have the, uh. The ability to, um. To just, like, break them without, uh, having to lose time for it. Just gonna break that. There we go. I see it. It's all coming together.
The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Odd how? We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. So, if objects can go through the other wall, then it would make sense for when... If, we're, if I'm thinking about how the river would flow, when she threw the sign down the river, it would go through the wall and end up back on the other side towards the mansion. Whoops, my hand slit. We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. Finding the sign was definitely weird. I'm most confused by how the sign got there. I should remember exactly what happened with that sign. Alright, here we go. Oh wow, too many games in a row? I feel honored. Too bad the taxi minigame game feels a little bit too slow, because there's not that many words on the road. So you get this long stretch. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Oops, my bad. There we go. Can I get my control back? Which way, uh, which way did it sweep? It swept towards the, um, to the right side. Uh, it's near the chapel. Oh, shit! What do you mean, which point was the signboard sweep away? What? That's a weird way to word that. <laughs> That's the first time I, I did a hit and run. Okay, what is the end of the river? The end of the river is the end of the world. Right? Uh, transition point. Really? All right, then we're going to the chapel, then. I killed two women today. I'm not very proud of it. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. That was fucky. Oh, shit. Now that I don't have my speed, I'm going stupidly. Where's the signboard away? Wait, what? Where was the signboard found after it was swept away? Near the mansion. Mansion side. Hop in, bitch! We're going to Disney World! Oh, there's a... F what? There's a fourth question? But I have no more women and... I have no more space in this car. Unless someone can fit in the middle. Oh, come on. There we go. Compared to the river's current, which way did the signboard float? Uh, with the current. It obviously went with the current. What? What do you mean against current? Explain. Explain. Against the current? I call bullshit on that one. How the fuck would it go against the current? What? It appeared as though the sign was carried against the river's current. Yeah, it appeared, but it didn't, right? Let me see the map again. 
Where the fuck is the map? Yeah, see, it would go down towards the chapel. Since, an, since it's an object, it would go through the end of the world and come back near the fucking mansion. So it followed the current. We all saw Mew drop the sign and watch the river carry it downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. But that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. All right, video game, you're full of shit. Because that's exactly what I said, but you told me I was wrong, but whatever. The signboard should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. Hold up. Didn't you stay on the chapel side? She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. Hmm. You know what? You are right about that if we're saying that she didn't walk through the wall. There's no way she didn't walk through the wall, wall though. How the f what? Then how would she end up on the other side? We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? Fuck off, Kokichi. What? We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. So, how are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? This man's plotting on my downfall. Ah, well, what we know so far is that the unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Uh, what? Would a sound be considered an object? Loading screen, the mansion side of chapel. In order to go between the mansion chapel, it's necessary to go through the loading map. I'm looking for the uh, piece of evidence that says, yeah. This is it. Would sound be considered an object, right? It might have to do with a wall that only objects can pass through. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But if that wall happened to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through... I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? And Mew would be able to pass through the wall, but Monotaro said that she didn't use a passage. Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? It is. That's right. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on the, on the mansion side? What would explain that? Leave it to me, Shuichi. I, your partner, will give you hints in times of trouble. Fuck off, Kokichi. What? This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? Huh? The hell does that even mean? Hmm. Kokichi might be on something there. We need to figure out... I forget... <laughs> figure out. We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. How did the signboard pass through the 
wall downstream and end up upstream. Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river. Have the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream. It teleported. What? Like I said, the wall wasn't a warp point. How's it not a warp point? Oh no! <laughs> what? Is it just like... What? It's another signboard? Downstream and upstream are connected. Well, yeah. That's it! What if both ends of the river were connected? You're starting to confuse me now. So if it's not a warp point... So what is it? Is it just... What? <laughs> the only way I can imagine what the hell they're talking about it is if... If the fucking world itself was like fucking King Kai's planet from Dragon Ball from Dragon Ball Z, right? Where it's just so small that that's just how it ends up, and maybe that wall is just another load point. Huh? Both ends of river connected? Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. Yeah, but still, wouldn't it be considered a warp point? Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. I'm thinking it in the concept of, like, Pac-Man. Where I think the end of the screen is like a warp point just to get you to the other side of the screen. Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. Wait, in that case... I got it! I know why Mew only set up one wall. Talking about now. The reason she only set up one wall is because the chapel and the mansion walls are super close to together, right? They're the same wall. Wait, what? That's it! The walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall. The same wall? It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. So it's King Kai's planet. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. The idea is you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokichi! Just tell us. Shh, it's okay. More importantly, this is the final stretch. If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? The secret, huh? Yes, I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual world. Alright, where the fuck are you going with this? Let's just pick some letters. Alright, well it's not R, D, O. Oh shit! <laughs> I should have paid attention to my health. My bad. Retry. Alright. Okay, so world is the first word. Where's the, uh, need a O? Oh. 
Give me an L. There we go. World, what, border? What are we doing? It's gotta be like another letter, right? S. There's a Q in there. What? Was that a Q or a P? I couldn't tell. It's a unique fixture of the virtual world. Word loops? Is that what we're going with? The word loops? Where's a P? I need a P. Oh, there's one over there. Give it to me. Yes, that's it. The virtual world is a loop. With that, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think beyond the trial right now. Would that, all, would that also be the secret to the real world that we were looking for? Ooh. Wait a minute! Holy shit! What? Wait, is the killing game in a loop? Are we in a fucking loop? Just like in old games, right? Like, for example... When a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right! Are we a simulation? <laughs> yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. The virtual world... loops? What in the world?! Because we went into the virtual world to find a secret that Monokuma went... It could have been a trap, right? The secret can't be real. But... What if it was... And the secret to the virtual world, that it loops, is also the secret to the real world. That we're just in a fucking simulation. Because Armageddon was happening. We're, we're in a fucking USB stick. That's what we're, That's what's happening right now. If that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream. And floated with the current until it got caught on the rocks. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? Actually, there wasn't a wall on the y-axis at all, and the x-axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happen. Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Well, if it loops, then that means Kibo is just right next to the outside of the mansion. Yeah, sound doesn't go past the nap loading point. Doesn't go past the loading point, but the wall wasn't a loading point. It was just a wall. Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Huh? Really? Yes. But first we need to be clear where the loop starts. Where the loop starts? Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion and chapel? That would also explain why Samugi was able to see her outside the window. So she didn't cross the river, Not she was just near the chapel. If she never left that place. The chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... Because if, if the wall is not a loading wall and just an invisible wall, then you would be able to see through it because you're not allowed to see through the loading walls when we tried it earlier with the binoculars. So it starts here. 
over there. Wait, what? If the x-axis loops, wouldn't the loop point be running through the world vertically? Oh no! Wait, what? I'm sorry. What? What are we fucking doing here? What's the question? Where does loop point? There. The loading screen. The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. But the loading point was actually at the edges. So the wall Mew created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather... Her wall was at the center of the world. I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other, with a wall between them. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right! That's how the virtual world works! <laughs> Impressive, Shuichi! Alright, Invaders, I'm come down. For you to get this far! Yes! Yes! You are useful indeed! For you to get this far... What are you, some villain pulling the strings? Nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center. I'm trying to think of something real quick. What if... Now this is just speculation, I'm not saying this has went down, but... What if Mew's pulling a fucking... What if she's pulling a goddamn Nagito here for a moment? Where she's like, guys, we're in a computer simulation. What if I became the black and committed suicide on myself, get you all the fucking die, and then see if the world loops? Because I'm a psychopath. Which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. There was a wall along the y-axis, and the x-axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. Seems like you activated my but trap card. This mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior! Fuck off, Kokichi. Yeah, if Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. You can fuck off too, Samugi. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. I love you, Himiko. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. And I love you even more, Gonta. Uh, you're welcome. Just because we found out the virtual world's secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. That's how a class trial works, after all! Kichi talking like Monokuma again. Telling lies? No matter what you say, I'm not gonna believe your lies. I'm gonna believe in everyone! That's how I'm gonna reach the truth! <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next! What is Kokichi's plan here? He's definitely prodding at Kaito on purpose. Well, there's no time for distractions like him. What we have to do is find the culprit who killed Mew. It doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve, if we can't find the culprit, it would be, it would all be for nothing. But I still don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Mew's own plan against her to kill her? Who killed Mew? Intermission? Intermission. Good, we need that intermission because I gotta head to the bathroom. <laughs> would you like to save your game? Yes, I would. I would love to save my game. All right. Aww. All right.
So while this intermission is happening, I'm gonna go head to the bathroom real quick. And in the meantime, I will run a little ad. So give me a second here. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we are back. I find it weird that that uh, Twitch doesn't pick up any of the soundtracks from like video games as like copyright. Well, at least the ones that I've chose, anyways. But you know, maybe they just have no taste in music. That's what I say. All right, let me just make sure everything's working fine as it should be, as intended. All right, let's see. Are you okay over there? My dog started, like, coughing. Man, I'm bushed. I got no motivation at all. Monophy's period is late, too. <laughs> what? Um... Father? Why do you know Monophy's cycle? And another... Never mind that. Perhaps this lack of motivation is due to the lack of hibernation. Yeah? Lack of hibernation? Yeah. 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 I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. Oh, hey, sussy. How's it going? Hope your day was lovely. That's awful. What could be causing it? Ah. Is it because you have a lot on your mind? Uh. Hmm? I'm, hold up. Give me a moment. Did, uh, <laughs> did Monokuma just allude to incest? Are they having an incest baby? Is it because the graveyard shift pays a better hourly wage? That's my shift. Hmm? Really? Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? That's what I do at work. Huh? huh? Is it because you want to stay friends? Huh? Meh? Hmm. Is it because you want to watch it in real time? What? Hmm? Father? 
He's gone into hibernation. We should let him be. Yeah, you're right. Night, night. Back to the trial. Fucking God. <laughs> no. Daddy. Wait, what? I'm gonna be a father? Uh, no. What a colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. We understand Mew plotted the murder. We're out here committing bear cest. It's crazy. It's not a kid. It's an abomination. Uh. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. Let's see. Mew manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. Because we all know Kokichi has a plan. He's plotting on my downfall. If she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then WHAM! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. Whoops, my hand slipped. She dropped the bridge on purpose, so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Then secretly passed through the wall she installed, and took advantage of the loop. After, she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. Oh yeah, Kaito was probably logged out around that time too. That's when I saw Mew. That's when I saw Mew, and I waited 10 minutes. <laughs> Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? So, either someone on the chapel side saw her go through there. Well, they wouldn't be able to go through there anyways, because they're not an object. So, someone on our side killed her. Uh. Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that one culprit kill her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think Mew did it. If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. It's Mew we're talking about here. She's an inventor. She was smart, but she was also really, really dumb. No say such mean things. Killing game bad, not Mew. Mew not bad person. Going to think we could have been friends if things different. That might have been difficult, even without this killing game. The fuck you mean? That wouldn't happen. What? Nuh-uh. No way, Jose. Who wouldn't be friends with Gonta? Huh? 
Anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion, the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? See, that's what I thought. So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. They just picked her up. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Oh shit, wait, hold up. I mean... <sighs> hmm. If Samugi saw her, she could have been the one to strangle her, and since our strength are all relatively the same, and since Mew is the only one who can go through the wall, it's possible that Samugi could have killed her, picked her up, and just threw her ass on the other side, and her body hit against the chapel wall. But you know what? That wouldn't make sense. What the hell am I saying? Samugi was with us when it happened. Hmm. Well, it's definitely someone on our side, then. <sighs> I'm putting Gonta on the list now. <laughs> I'm putting Gonta on the list now as suspects. Only Mew was we able have to four suspects in total. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. We have Himiko, Kibo. Well, I'm, I'm going to get rid of Samugi now. Hmm. So we still so we have three now. It's just those three. Himiko, Kibo, or Gonta. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Yeah, that's the only way, right? But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? They just threw her ass. I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Gonta, not throw her! We know. You couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical <laughs> Just yeet her body across the fucking <laughs> yeet it against the fucking chapel. That problem. Gonta no can protect everyone if that happens. Gonta, are you pretending to be stupid now? We're already in the second half of the class trial. Gonta, don't tell me it was you. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh no! Oh no! What if Gonta, wanting to protect Kokichi, went and attacked Mew? Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Well, that's weird. You can do that? Learn something new every day. Hmm. How did they send Mew's avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard? Gonta, not the culprit. I'm not sure, man. Sometimes you just got to tell Lenny to pet the rabbits. You know what I mean? <laughs> pet the rabbits, Lenny. Just shut up and pet the rabbits. What? What was that sound? Because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? Unless they could have set up something to, like, launch me over, right? That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that those noises are related. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. It might be a clue we need to solve this case. So, what was it? it sounded like something slammed hard into something else. So, what were those two things? The hammer hitting the wall? Cell phone hitting the wall? Hmm. Mew hitting the wall? That's it! Oh, they threw her ass against the wall! No! I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. No! The hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there, but they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. The sound of her fat ass smacking against that wall. <laughs> if that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. Alright, 
That means they must use the lattice to launch her, right? She felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Yeah, that's the real question. You guys really fucked up Mew. You disrespected her like that. Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Why are you talking like you know everything? Because he does. Let's not worry about that right now. He always knows everything. He's an asshole. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Getting Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. There's only one way I can think about how to do that. Hey Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little hint. Now shut the hell up, Kokichi. You what? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Aw, oh, they did not put her body on the lattice and just sled her ass down there, did they? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. If the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. See, I was thinking that they kind of seesawed her, right? Like, put her body on the other side of the lattice and just kind of did with Kyo did last last trial and just, like, launched her over there. <laughs> but they just sled her down the slope. Kukichi's talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. How to make Mew hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion? I'm gonna find out the answer. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a sled. <laughs> it's a sled. Let's see. Do we have... Alright. Slid off the roof. That's the words, slid off roof. Oh, there's a Monokuma thing now. Give me an F. Oh, there it is. They said, hey Mew, you ever saw the Santa Claus? You about to make like Tim Allen get his ass off the roof. Slide? Aw man, even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. They slip and slide that shit. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. Unless you use the sled. No, no. It would slide. <laughs> no, no. It wouldn't slide, just like Maki Roll said. It would slide, just like Shumai said. Who the hell is Shumai? Oh, he's a pupil of Ramen Man. Uh, sorry. My hobby slipped in. What the fuck? I'm positive that now Mew's avatar was moved, but maybe the culprit used something else as well to help her body slide. It's the lattice. Even if her avatar slid off the roof, would it slide off that quickly? Well, duh, it would. If it made that much noise, it must have built up a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on roof. But not frozen solid, right? You'd still slide, though. In the real world, it Fuck. might be difficult. <laughs> but in the virtual world, perhaps not. That's not the issue. 
Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. There was nothing like that. Oh, come on. There we go. That's wrong. No, wait. There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Do you remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? The culprit laid her on top of that, then used it as a sled on the roof. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. The lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. Okay, but who's the culprit, though? After the culprit killed Mew on the rooftop... <laughs> the culprit has his own avatar. Sled ...and slid her down the roof's steep slope. The sled picked up speed, flew off the Dude. roof. Come on, you did not chuck her body like that, really? Glided through the wall only objects could pass through and hit the He chapel. said, go, get out of here. Give her a quick slap on the ass. Mush. <laughs> Why? Why they gotta do her so foul like that? The impacts made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. Just like that hedgehog who can give you seizures on the Switch version of the game. That's right. If you're buying Sonic Colors on the Switch, be careful. The glitches are bad. I... I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I hate... All right, man. <laughs> Daddy, I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. You gotta be an example to our new family. Shut the hell up, Monophy. Yeah, father. Or should I start calling you grandfather now? Now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? The culprit? Yeah. In the end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? But Gonta can't believe one of us killed Mew. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Hmm. Aside from you, the people of <laughs> the What happened with Sonic, Monokuma? Or cross the river. We don't talk about that. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. I'm still trying to think how it would be possible that someone else near the chapel could have done it. That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. That's right. Five suspects. Me, Sumugi, Gonti, Kokichi, and Kaito. Now, we all know Kokichi's an asshole, so... He could be covering up for Gonta if he knew that Gonta did it. Kaito was logged out. I highly doubt that he did it. Right? Definitely wasn't me. And Sumugi was with me when we heard the crash. I don't think she would be able to, like... Time that all well. Right? We don't know enough. We don't know enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. When we were talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied. But what reason would they have to lie? I need to press them for information before making any judgments. I'm going with my gut. I'm pressing you. It's you. 
Kokichi. There's something I need to know. Hmm. What do you need to know? I have no reason to guess Kokichi. I just don't. I don't trust them. Cannot be trusted. Like, in my mind, I'm like, he has a plan, so therefore he must be planning to move on to the next round of the killing game. But what if he was just so fucking crazy that he's all like, no, nah, fuck it, suicide plan. Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, Shuichi? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. I have no idea what lie you're talking about, by the way. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. Is it when he said that the door was locked? It all began when Mew showed up. Uh, showed up. <laughs> when Mew showed us the map. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Oh shit, I totally forgot that he said that. I remember that he said that the door was locked and then he took it back. Which was shady as hell, but I didn't pay attention when he said that. It was that testimony that bothered me. Alright. I have no idea what I'm looking for here, but... Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? We're looking at statements. Okay, hold up. Hold up, I'm a little confused here. Okay. Good thing I don't lose any health from this anymore. Okay, what is this? It's all began when you showed us. Blah, blah, blah. Uh. What the hell? What does this say? Oh, so it's this one. It's this statement that we're going for. Do I need to get rid of these two as well? I see it. When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said... I also never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. But later, you said... What if God said, but then Kokichi said? <laughs> Since the mansion was on the top of the hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the, the roof was as pretty steep. Eh. Lost my ability to read for a moment. Past the brick handrail, the roof was a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there's not snow on the. Uh, there was no snow on the roof. Wait, what? There was no snow. There was snow on the roof. Jesus. I'm That's having a stroke. A lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. I mean, you can see it from outside, too, to be honest. Oh, yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. But you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. We all went up to the roof at the beginning of... What? Everybody went up to the roof before, though. What? That's a weird, that's a weird way of thinking, because everyone went up to the roof before, but okay. What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? I, 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 I didn't. I already t told you that b before. Why you look so nervous? Telling lies. Is this a sincere reaction? But, but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. Wait, I remember now. That thing Himiko said. <laughs> Me? At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Ooh, you 
so clumsy, girl. Gotta be more careful there, Himiko. Dude. For the flamboyancy that Kokichi just manifests. It's probably the best thing ever happened in this fucking series. Is it my fault? Himiko really say that? She totally said that. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Kibo, just use your fucking record function. She did not. She did too. Then when? Tell me how long ago. In hours, minutes, and seconds. <laughs> what a worthless fight. Stop it, Grandpa. All this terrible fighting is bad for the baby. That whole relationship is bad for the baby. Yeah, Grandfather. Stop them before your grandkid is born. I'm not gonna apologize, cause Himiko said it! So damn stubborn! How much longer are you going to behave like this? Here comes Mama Maki, picking them up both by their necks and going like, cut it the fuck out. But Kokichi is stubborn. He won't fess up no matter what. But if he's being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. To get him to show his hand, I have to prove he was on the roof. I might not like it, but I had to be aggressive. If we don't get the whole si if we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are in danger. Be aggressive. Be -e aggressive. Time to start lying through my fucking teeth. I didn't go to the roof. I've had enough of your lies, man. I'm not lying. The rooftop door was locked, and I couldn't open it! So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Uh-huh. Wires burn in hell, you know? If you're lying, I'll set your pants on fire! That's fine, because I'm not lying! Then why do you look so nervous? Because he's playing it up. He's an asshole. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I didn't go to the roof! Alright. I'm not lying! I'm gonna use the Kokichi and Salon and I on uh, his statement. So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon. Just gotta get rid of that. I was in the salon the whole time! You weren't the there! Samuki, you better shut the fuck up. Kokichi. You're lying right now, aren't you? Huh? Lying about what? Yeah, stop lying to me. Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. But you weren't there. What? Really? I waited there for a while. You never showed up. What's this all about, Kokichi? Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the roof door locked? I'll reveal the truth, Suichi says, lying. <laughs> You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? You damn right I do. So who are you guys gonna believe, Shuichi or me? Man, I got an alibi. Ain't that right, Samugi? Gives her the death stare. Well, of course I'm gonna believe Shuichi. I believe Shuichi 100%. Wait a minute. Wait, hold up. Is this Kokichi's plan from the beginning? To show that through my trials, I've been lying this whole time to get to to get to the bottom of things. He's gonna shake people's trust in me. What an asshole! The one who's not Kokichi. Hundred house points. Oh, no, Himiko points to Shuichi. But to go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. Yeah, Samugi. I was there. Um, I wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. Because I'm plain, just like you. Oh well, I'll believe Shuichi anyway. He's usually right about stuff. Sorry, but I'm going to believe Shuichi too. Hmm. I see. <laughs> I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. Everybody wants Gonta to believe them. What comes around goes around. That's what happens to liars like you. Why do you guys hate lies that much? Oh, he's about to 
drop a bomb. There's only one truth, but endless possibilities for lies, you know? And some of them are only white lies, or lies to be kind to people. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie, then that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to. Seriously, the worst! Just spit it out already. You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably killed Okay, fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Revenge? On Suichi. <laughs> you got some balls lying to me. I'm gonna take <laughs> away your fun for pissing me off, Suichi. Dude, the way he delivers that line, he's like, you got some fucking balls for doing that shit, huh? You think you're tough, tough guy? I won't let you do any detective work or deduction or mystery solving or anything. Oh? So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. Confess? A confession? So you are the culprit after all. I don't think he's the culprit. It's just... I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up with her. What the fuck? She asked me pretty eagerly, too. So I decided to pry some info out of her. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. What the hell is this fucking, like, confession shit above his head? As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. On me, no less. When I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. That's also why I worked together with Monokuma. You worked together with Monokuma? So it's the secret about the virtual world a lie thing? You know, I just had a stroke. That didn't make sense what I just said. Is the secret hidden in the virtual world a lie? <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah, everything he said is true. Because if that's the case, then I'm taking my fucking, <laughs> my Soma theory out. Kokichi came to me with an idea to make the killing game more interesting. It was such a good idea, I decided to place a motive in the killing game simulator. But is the motive real? You added a motive? Then the secret of the outside world is the motive, right? No fair! Monokuma can't take sides! I didn't help him with anything, and I had nothing to do with the murder itself. He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted. Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo relationship. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. Bullshit! No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. I'm so confused right now. Mainly because of what Kokichi said at the beginning of the trial, when he, when he said, if both votes are equal, who's the blacken? And Monokuma said it would be both of them. So, is the fact that Kokichi came up with the plan, would that make him the blacken? Even though he may have not done the killing, like, firsthand? Explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my confession. He's really gambling this shit right now. I'm fine with that, but you're confessing without much of a fight. <laughs> I told you, I'm gonna get in the way by taking away the mystery solving fun. If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's my revenge. Well then, the culprit is Gonta. What? You son of a bitch. Huh? W what did you... Wait! When did Gonta kill Mew? That's a lie! He didn't kill her! Kokichi's just lying! Now you're trying to pin things on Gonta? If Mew... G <laughs> if Mew doesn't go, Gonta goes. Isn't that what I said? Do you really expect us to believe such an obvious lie? Yeah, there's no way 
Gonta could commit a murder this complicated. He's not. It's my turn now. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. What the fuck is your end game, Kokichi? The truth is, Gonta and I work together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. As the Killing Game Busters. The dumbass fucking name. What busters? We must win this killing game in order to end this killing game. What you mean, we? By the way, I came up with the murder plan and Gonta carried it out. Gonta what? Why are you more surprised by that than the first thing he said? Because Gonta have no idea what he's talking about. Come on, quit lying and tell us the truth. Gonta is telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you! And no matter how naive Gonta may be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. Yeah, not after insect meet and greet incident. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Oh, Gonta's the culprit. Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. He's trying to sacrifice Gonta to escape from his crime! <laughs> Maybe Kokichi used the fact that Gonta doesn't understand how the virtual world works to his benefit. You're right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. I didn't want Shuichi to hog all the glory, so I told everyone the truth! Cut that out! I told you it's not gonna work! Don't you think I could have pulled the strings and made Gonta carry out my commands? It doesn't matter if it's possible or not. Because I say it's just impossible. It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. All we need is logical thinking. Right, Shuichi? What? Um, Gonta not understand what's going on. But still, Gonta not kill Mew. Gonta really not know anything. And also, Gonta not tell lies. And going to not make trouble for others. Going to, I'm trying to think, man. Cause that not how gentlemen act. That why going to not culprit. Going to, I'm trying to think, man. There's a lot of damning evidence pointing towards your way. Yeah, Gonta's not lying. I can tell just by looking at him. I already used my magic to check. Gonta's definitely not lying. Then let me ask you guys. If it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? You, of course! <laughs> Come on! There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew. There's already proof? Oh, did you forget already? Then let me make it clear again. Why I can't be the culprit! I am not the culprit. Didn't I prove that to you guys already? The clue is how. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. He was killed. When you got strangled to death, right? He wouldn't be able to Quiet, strangle Mew. It was the murder weapon. Because she could have just tapped his hand. If she was being strangled, right? Then it would have been impossible for someone. Well, hell, not even tapped his hand, just like body contact. That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much, so you could have kept strangling her. That's wrong. He's safe. He is safe. Actually, maybe it wasn't possible for Kokichi to strangle Mew. Why wasn't it possible? Mew modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. If Mew touched me, then I'd be unable to move. Huh? 
So I would have had to kill her instantly, such as stabbing or hitting. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation, because it'd be game over if she touched me. I love how Mew's being attacked by twice from my hero. Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. Body contact is enough, right? But if you can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck, then it would be impossible. Which means, as long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Wait, what if it was something besides strangulation then? Like... There's no doubt Mew was strangled. We already discussed this. <laughs> Kaido is really desperate to make me the culprit. No matter how much you whine about it, you can't change the truth. The culprit who killed Mew is Gonta Gokuhara. This is the truth you all adore so much. No, Gonta not kill Mew. It's true. You gotta believe Gonta. Gonta would never hurt anyone. I believe you. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. There's no way Gonto would kill. He won't even kill bugs. I believe Gonta too. I'm not gonna listen to Kokichi's lies. Uh, of course. Who'd believe a liar like him? He's lying about Gonta being the culprit, so there's no point talking about it. I can't believe Gonta. Yeah, I don't know about that. If we want the truth, we might have to ask uncomfortable questions. Right, Shuichi? You think so too, don't you? I can't believe Gonta. Huh? He's the only possible outcome of this. I know how important it is to believe, but as the ultimate detective... Is this a Shuichi's plan? Since I'm sentencing Gonta to his death? Everyone's going to hate me for it? I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Huh? It's just that something doesn't add up. I have this feeling something's off. We can't keep going back and forth like this. We need to discuss this. What, you want to suspect, Gonta? I have to. Too bad, Kaito. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. No, I'm not trying to... Oh, the irony! It's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Well, can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. That's not it, Kokichi. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survi... Shuichi... Going to really not do it. Going to not culprit. Please leave Gonta. We might as well discuss it. Thanks, Kibo. What? As a precautionary measure, that's all. I think we need to seriously discuss whether Gonta was capable of committing this crime. I also love how it's like everyone's all like, it can't be Gonta, can it? Meanwhile, the first trial was like, Gonta did it! He threw a fucking shot put into the room! He's a savage killer. <laughs> Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. You guys, why don't you get it? That's just what Kokichi wants. He's just trying to split us up. Shuichi, open your eyes! I know what he's trying to do, but we gotta do it regardless. B but Two for one truth special! Sorry to ruin this tense moment, but you guys seem pretty evenly split right now. So, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial ground! So we're gonna do that again? Shuichi, why? Why don't you understand? You... you're my sidekick, aren't you? Kaito... Of course I want to believe Gonta. I don't want to think that he killed someone. But as the ultimate detective, I can't turn away from the truth. I need to find the truth. We all gotta suck it up.
<laughs> Goncha's still at the bottom. <laughs> the tallest one. Shuichi, are you saying that Gota is the culprit? I got this! I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Gonta is such a sweetheart! He wouldn't hurt a fly! Kokichi! Don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? Kibo! The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall! I got this! No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma! Kibo! That isn't possible, because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. What? Kokichi is the one who killed Mew. Oh, it was Monokuma that on that one. Because Fuck. Kokichi's avatar had special settings. I try to do it all in one go. Gonta not kill Mew! Honest! I got this! The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma. Yeah, yeah, Shuichi, yeah. Are you saying that Gota is the culprit? I got this. I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Gota is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Kokichi, don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop? Kibo. The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the end. I got this. No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Kokichi. I did cooperate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a lie. Kibo. That isn't possible, because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Gonta not kill Mew. Honest. I got this. The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. I was looking for the button. I thought it would be at the bottom circle. This is our answer. Wait, there's only three of us against them? <laughs> what? I didn't even notice that. We were so outnumbered. In my opinion, as long as it is possible that Gonta is the culprit, we have to discuss it. That's ridiculous. You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonta? It's not that I'm believing him over Gonta. That's not it at all. I just want the truth. If we're going to survive, I have to find the truth. What? Gonta telling truth? Gonta really not culprit? I feel so bad for you, man. I still don't think Gonta's lying. But didn't I tell you guys already? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. That's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this! Fuck off. Gonta, if you understand, then do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth. L logical arguments? It means use your head to make arguments. Use head? What I'm trying to say is, if you aren't the culprit, then you gotta prove that you aren't! Oh, you are so cornering him. But, Gonta really not know. Ugh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know! God, why are you so dumb?! Gonta just wanna help everyone, like true gentlemen! You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop! Hey! Now that's just bullying! Are you trying to get him mad enough to slip up? Bullying? Yeah, so what? That's what you do in this game, right? You guys blame and gang up on me, but now you're gonna pretend to be good people? No, I, I never ganged up. Gonta, argue back already! Just make an excuse or whatever! Stop it! That's enough! Hmm? Stop what? You mean, stop the game? Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Yeah, I know. What about it? I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Oh, that's a low blow right there. 
Then just die in a hole for all I care. We want to live, so stop getting in our way. Quit it. If you don't shut your mouth, then I'll shut it for you. Permanently. Magi, please, calm down. Sorry. It Gonta's fault. Everyone's so upset. But Gonta telling truth. Gonta really not culprit. Cause Gonta not know anything. Really. Cut it out already. That's all you've been saying this whole time. You're the one that needs to cut it out. Wait. What did Kokichi say? All you've been saying this whole time. That's true about Gonta. This whole time, Gonta's been saying he doesn't know anything. Gonta not understand either. You like this when Gonta wake up. Did Gonta black out? Gonta was sleeping too. Had strange dream. Gonta not understand anything. Hold up. Wait a minute. Whoa. I gotta check something. Kokichi and Gonta logged in at the same time. Do we have... Motherfucker. Gonta probably fucked up his wires. He inadvertently killed her? Well, maybe not inadvertently, but... Mew says she doesn't know what happens when you fuck up the wires. What if his personality just switched? But since... What are the two wires that are connected? Red cord for consciousness, blue cord for memory. It would make sense why his memory would be fucked up. Oh shit. Gonta's the culprit. Fuck. <laughs> Gonta not know. Murder really happened. When Gonta wake up. Murder really happened. Mo murder already happened. But why this happen? Why Mew killed? Gonta not understand. Gonta not understand anything. Also that wording. Instead of why is Mew dead, why was Mew killed? Because Gonta have no idea what he's talking about. But when exactly did he start using that defense? After the class trial started? No, before that. So it was after they logged out. That's it! Okay, it was after he logged out. That means... Did Gonta get into an accident in the virtual world? He had the error. This whole entire time I was thinking it was Kokichi or some shit. But Gonta was the one with the error. But the virtual world still let him in. Accident? The accident that hurt Gonta was...
Where the fuck is it? Did I just... Oh, it's right there. <laughs> this is it! When we logged into the virtual world, an avatar user error occurred. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. An error. It's like I said, an error occurred, a murder occurred. <laughs> but something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you all logged in. An avatar user error? Ever since Gota logged out, he's been saying, I don't know, I don't understand. That's because Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, right? That's what I thought at first, but I think it's because of the error. W what you mean? If that error is what affected Gonta, and it makes him forgetful and loopy, then what was the error? What could it have been? Wait, so now the question is... How the fuck... Did Kokichi literally just point and said, go kill? Or did he do it on his own? I'm sorry, I don't know how to spell memory. God damn it! It's another M, right? Memory what? Memory loop? <laughs> so is he just like... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, memory loss. Where's the E? I need an E. Uh, someone give me an E. Oh, my bad. Fucking. Memory lose. Memory loss. <laughs> my bad. My memory's fucked up. That's what's happening. I believe it's possible that Gonta doesn't remember what happened in the virtual world. Huh? He doesn't remember? You started saying, I don't know anything, after leaving the virtual world. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. Oh, that's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. Not even killing Mew. What? That's ridiculous! Quit screwing around! Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous! What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused! Gonto told us he was bad with computers, remember? Guys, stop! Memory or no memory? Gonta never hurt anyone! Gonta no way Gonta's the culprit! culprit. <sighs> I called him out earlier. I called him out! <laughs> I'm so sorry. But to be oh, fair, it took me a while to suspect him. I know he would never kill a friend. Oh, you bastard! I heard it! The cause of the error that affected Gonta's avatar is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world. Put the red consciousness cord in the right port and the blue memory cord in the left. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? Okay, Th that's what I, I wanted to look at this earlier. Was when, uh, where the fuck Kokichi was and where Gonta was. Just to see if there's any possibility that Kokichi fucked with them. But if that was the case, then Mew would have caught them, right? I don't know. i never done that before. It probably gets all glitchy or something. I think that Gonta messed up something with the courts, causing the error. If he mixed the consciousness and memory courts, then there'd be an error with memory. Like, an error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world? What? 
Gonta, do you think it's possible that you improperly connected the cords? Huh? How Gonta supposed to remember that? He, he couldn't have messed it up. I said it over and over. Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. Gonta's left-handed. Holy shit. <laughs> you fucked him up. Oh, but Gonta holds chopsticks with this hand. Uh, that's your left hand. What? Oh, come on, Himiko. <laughs> Looks like it's decided. What? Decided. He's wrong, isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? G Gonta not remember. Gonta not even go to this virtual world place. What? Gonta fall asleep when he put helmet on. When Gonta wake up, Mew dead. Gonta not know what happened. So, Gonta worry. Gonta not understand what everyone talking about. No, it can't be. Oh my god. But Gonta try his best to understand. Gonta imagine real hard. That's enough, Gonta. We already know. N know what? We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. Wait a minute! That lie! Gonta not kill Mew! Cause... Why would Gonta do that? Yeah, it's a lie! I'll never accept this! And besides, Gonta's got no motive to kill Mew! I already gave you my testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. And I'm saying I don't believe you! Kokichi, if what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this way? Because he's an evil son of a bitch. You wanted to plan the murder yourself, but have someone else carry it out? Is the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? Nope! Only the person who actually commits the murder becomes the blackened! Then what the fuck was with the shit you said earlier? Then there's no incentive to just plan the murder. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? Hold on! That hasn't been decided yet! Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already! I care about the motive! Well, I don't care. Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. Talking about the motive is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No matter what you say, I'll never believe your lies. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? Fuck off. Me. Because if you don't face the truth, then we'll all die, right? And you don't want that, do you? Okay, let's begin! Why would Kokichi make a plan that doesn't benefit him? It does, because he's doing this shit. Quit screwing around! I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit! Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. <sighs> so, we can now take Keyboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. The reason Kibo, Himiko, and Maki can be eliminated as suspects is because they can't pass through the wall. Uh. They couldn't get to the crime scene, could they? The bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone and only Mew could pass through the wall. The three at the chapel had no way to get to the mansion, so they couldn't have done it. Kaito is the next one off our suspect list, and you know why, right? He was logged out forcefully. <sighs> Kaito had logged out ahead of us. Mew logged Kaito out from the start. But she did that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world, it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. Mew's time of death was around 6.30 in the morning.
That's after Kaito logged out. Uh, Kokichi's completely running the show now. Now he's been doing it from the beginning. My synergy with Shuichi is super on point now, so let's move on to the remaining suspects. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. Because we're alibis. But what's the reason for that? Uh, we didn't go to the roof. We have solid alibis. Fuck. Tsumugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? The culprit was definitely on the roof during that time, since they slid Mew down. Because of that, Shuichi and Samugi can't be the culprit. That leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Then you're the culprit! Sorry for getting your hopes up, but didn't I already explain that's impossible? Uh, couldn't have killed Mew. If Mew touched him, he'd freeze in place. If we go, he wasn't capable of strangling her. If we go back to when I was doing this shit, I was, my only reasoning for Gonta was that he was a sweetheart. So then, it's down to one person. And who was that again? <laughs> well, who is it? Don't answer, Shuichi. You don't need to answer that. This is all Kokichi's trap. There's only one suspect left. Only one person could have done this. It's... it's... Gonta. Sh Shuichi? Yep! Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder! You get it now, right? That's the truth we were all reaching for. The thing you guys wanted so badly! A truth without any lies! New Iruma's killer is Gonta Goku Hara! Really? Did Gota really do it? Jeez, is that really your reaction? It would have been fun if you went all crazy. But you forgot everything, so oh well. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast. Especially since he's an idiot. Hold on. I, I still haven't accepted this. This has got to be Kokichi's trap. I still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill. Kaito. I already said this a million times, Kaito. You shouldn't use emotions You want proof? I've got your proof. <laughs> After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. And who did they see out there? Oh, Suichi and Samugi. Uh. Oh. Oh no, Kaito. You're making it worse. Gonta, do you see Kibo around here anywhere? He used the rope to get. Not the rope, the toilet paper to get down. No, Gonta not see him. Gonta. Kokichi said it himself. When Mew's avatar crashed into the chapel wall, the culprit must have been on the roof. I see. If Gonta's the culprit, then it'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. Guys, just stop. You're making it worse. It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. You'd have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. Not if you had rope. Is that where Shuichi and Sumugi ran to when they heard the crashing sound? Then maybe he jumped off the roof. He rappelled down. That's not possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. Normally, Gota could have done it, but his avatar wasn't strong enough. 
How about that? Now you get it, right? Guys. If Goto was the culprit, there's no way he could have been outside the mansion. Guys. Now you can't say Gonta's the culprit. Congrats, Gonta. Guys. What? Really? Guys, stop. It would have been so nice if that was the truth. If Kaito were right, then this horrible trial would just end. But... No, that's wrong. What? Just because Gonta was at the mansion doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. Huh? <laughs> Looks like Shuichi got it. I'll leave the rest to him. Kaito, I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. But we have to face the truth. No matter how cool that truth may be, we need to face it to survive. Whose side are you on, Shuichi? Kaito, please! Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? Kaito! Fine then! I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up! I can't tell my detective work now. Is he gonna be my fucking argument that we're gonna have? <laughs> if I want all of us to survive, I can't back down. Yep, he's my argument. He's a fucking alien. Don't you know Gonta at all? Not the kind of guy who kills someone. Don't you know that about him by now? I'll never accept this. Don't you know Gonta at all? Damn it! Why won't you believe Gonta? Why are you listening to Kokichi? You my sidekick? Wake up, Chuichi! Why won't you believe Gonta? Why are you listening to Kokichi? Ah, oh, fuck! Kick? I I I lost Wake my up, sense of rhythm. Chuichi. Why won't you believe Gonta? Why are you listening to Kokichi? You my sidekick? Who do you want to believe? Remember what Kokichi has done to us! What the fuck? Remember how Gonta's always tried to protect us! How could Gonta oh, be shit. Still I, I didn't know I activated Gonta. Fever Time by accident. Saying the truth this, the truth that, there's a reason Gonta's not the culprit! Who do you want to believe? Remember what Kokichi has done to us! Remember how Gonta's always tried to protect us! How could Gonta be the culprit? You still want to accuse me, huh? Saying the truth this, the truth that. There's a reason Gonta's not the culprit! Who do you want to believe? Damn it! There's no way to leave the mansion from the rooftop! I fucked that up. <laughs> I fucked that up. I realized I fucked it up towards the end. Alright. There's no way to leave the mansion from the Discovered toilet paper outside mansion. Really? Who do you want to believe? Oh, it's toilet paper discovered. Remember what Kokichi has done to us. Damn it! There's no way to leave the mansion from the rooftop! It ends here! There you go. Damn it! The toilet paper we found outside the mansion. That's what the culprit used to get from the roof to the ground. The toilet paper? The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. <laughs> Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Mew's body. It was outside the mansion. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. I know, because I investigated the roof. Here's 
stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. I just imagine Cookie's just like kicking his fucking foot on the ground, kicking rocks. He's like, stop it. Of course I am. I'm going to believe in Gota till the very end. No, there was something that the toilet paper could have been tied to. What? Yes, the place where the toilet paper was tied down. There! The binoculars on the rooftop. The toilet paper could have been tied there. <clears throat> However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it. And then used the doubled up toilet paper to climb down. But in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Yep, that's correct. Because I came up with that idea. But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Oh, I guess you ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. The matter does appear to be settled. Th that... it's... So... it's true. Gonta really killed Mew. To be fair, Gonta, you did protect someone. But I'm the one who came up with the plan! Anyway, just to make your crime, Gonta. Even though you don't remember, you still did it. But... Why did Gonta do such a terrible thing? Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime for... Stop. I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? When you're convinced, you just let me know, all right? Let's end this together. <laughs> okay. Dude, I want to cry now. <sighs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Fuck, wow, that's a lot going on. <laughs> well, that looks cool as hell. Look at that. Okay. Oops, my bad. Uh, here we go. Like, I just have no words for this, you know? It sucks. Threw the signboard into the river. See. 
No words. No words can describe. I'm speechless. I am. It's pretty painful. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Who's in the dining hall? Who's in the kitchen? Me. Samugi. Who's in the dining hall? Binoculars, toilet paper. That'll be over here. Kaito. Top. This is the truth of the case. I'm now going to be quiet. The case began last night. After being convinced by Mew, we all logged into the virtual world. To log in, you have to plug the memory and consciousness cords into the device. So, we all plug those cords into our helmets and enter the virtual world. But the culprit had accidentally plugged their cords into the wrong ports. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. As a result, the culprit would forget everything that happened in the virtual world. It's possible that this had an effect on their avatar's personality as well. Because I... I can't believe that someone so kind could commit murder. But we had no idea this error even happened. And so, we all logged in one by one. Meanwhile, Mew was the last to log in. She had modified the killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. After Mew confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison and placed it on Kokichi's seat. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when we returned. Yes. The reason Mew modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was to kill Kokichi in the virtual world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. After we had all logged in, Mew explained the world to us. Use the salon phone to lock out, objects are unbreakable, your avatars use all five senses. She also explained the map of the virtual world in the mansion's entrance hall. But her explanation was intentionally false. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. The very person Mew was trying to kill, Kokichi. Kokichi was going to use Mew's plan against her and plotted her murder. But Kokichi wouldn't do it himself. He used a patsy to be the culprit in this case. Kokichi was tight-lipped about the motive, so I don't know why the culprit agreed. But it seems as though right after logging in, when Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already working together to execute the murder. Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. Mew had us split up to try to find some secret of the outside world. Kaito, Kokichi, Gonta, Tsumugi, and I investigated the mansion, while Maki, Himiko, Kibo, and Mew investigated the chapel. Splitting us up was also part of Mew's plan. At the chapel, 
Mew told Maki that she was going to look around outside. She chased after our group while we were heading toward the mansion. Once she made sure we were across, she dropped the bridge into the river. This was to trick us into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel. At the time, we thought nothing of it. It was just another one of Mew's pranks. That's why we continued with the original plan to find the secret of the outside world. We went to the mansion and split up to look for clues. Kokichi searched the salon. Kaito searched the roof. Tsumugi searched the dining room. I searched the kitchen. And finally, the culprit searched outside the mansion. Around that time, Mew was headed for the wall that was on the side of the chapel. She passed through the wall and headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. You see, the wall was a special wall that Mew had added herself. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through. And Mew had changed her avatar settings from human to object. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. She set up a wall that only she could pass through. Mew headed toward the mansion, but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. When she entered the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't tell us that there was another way to log out. Then, she spoke a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. It was Kaito who was on the roof at the time. The same roof where Kokichi and Mew were going to meet. By the way, I feel like I should just say this. Uh, epilepsy warning? <laughs> Don't look directly at Kaito? By having Kaito search the roof and then forcing him to log out, she was making him look the most suspicious. But her plan didn't go smoothly. Kokichi was waiting on the roof with a culprit and the toilet paper used to kill Mew. While Mew was distracted by Kokichi, the culprit snuck up from behind. And used the toilet paper from the mansion's bathroom to strangle Mew. This was only possible because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. Mew's avatar was strangled to death, and the shock killed Mew in the real world. After the murder, Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. He probably returned to the salon as soon as he could to avoid drawing suspicion. The culprit then took the lattice from the storage room and placed Mew's body on top along with the hammer and the cell phone. The culprit heaved the lattice over the railing and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. With a body on top of it, the lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof.
It went through the wall that only objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. That was the crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel and we heard in the mansion. Mew's wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. As the final step, the culprit had to then get off the roof. Because we were at the mansion, they couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So they used the toilet paper again to escape from the rooftop. They hung the toilet paper from the binoculars on the roof and used it like a rope to climb down. Once the culprit was safely on the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. They would have returned it to the bathroom, but they ran into us as we were leaving the mansion. In a panic, the culprit tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. Without that one little mistake, we might never have solved this case because the culprit doesn't remember. This is the truth you've forgotten, Gonta Gokuhara, the ultimate entomologist. I feel so bad. Gonta, this is the truth we've reached. Also, I was kind of laughing the whole time because the little chibis are fucking hilarious. <laughs> you saw how Mew just like shuffled on over to the wall? Uh, and for some reason, Suichi looked like a badass in the virtual world. S sorry. Gonta not really understand. Because Gonta not smart boy. Oh, Gonta, you're a smart boy. You're a good boy. But if everyone agree, then everyone probably right. Is there a rule? Can I... Come on, man. There's gotta be some sort of loophole, right? Let's see. Uh... Students must participate in a class trial if the blackness is exposed. Okay, if the blackness is not exposed. If the blackness survives. Can the game trial continue? Nighttime. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Uh. Okay, if two different murders by different murders occur. Oh, come on. Going to know. Going to know. You're an asshole, Kokichi. But hey, remember what he said. If it's equal, they're both the black and so can we just all agree to to vote on <laughs> vote on vote equally? If Gonta's going down, Kokichi's going down. Gonta trust everyone. Gonta why? Going to kill Mew. Forget everything. Going to even think he not do anything bad. And then going to try to blame someone else and make everyone suffer. W why? Why going to do such terrible thing? Going to, it's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault. He must have tricked going to. Huh? I totally didn't trick him. Before we go into that, it's voting time. We should finish up the class trial first. But is this the right answer? We're not being fooled by Kokichi? For once, I wish that we were. Uh. Huh? Wrapping things up already? Hmm, what a buzzkill of an ending. It lacks the rush of previous voting times. Well, after so many killing games, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. It's just as well. This killing game is a bad influence on the baby. 
You guys are, uh, you guys are something. Yeah! I gotta get my act together for the baby. Now then, pull yourselves together and let's begin! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. But it has to be done. <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. <laughs> the one vote for Kokichi. Oh, man. You know the fun part about this? Kaito's probably the one who did that. Sure as hell wasn't Gonta. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? Jesus, fuck. Straight A's, baby.